All right, let's get straight. Let's stay with sport, actually. A uh, bit of interesting uh, tiger fishing uh, news there with Andy in, the, in that market segment. <laughs> yeah, I thought let me just do, encroach on your yeah. sport segment. No, 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 no. But it fine. is an economic I, benefit, I, I, isn't it? I was, I was learning a lot because yeah. I don't know very much about uh, well, I'm sorry, tiger fishing. with me. Am I, am, I, I don't am I invited? I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Do you want him to come with me or not? <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, let's uh, stay with sport. In this second hour, we do have a special guest who is joining us uh, for Morning Rush Sport. His name is Farai Mutatu. Uh, he made history one of the first Zimbabweans to be drafted uh, into the Major Soccer League. We've had a lot of Zimbabweans playing in America, but very few coming through uh, the college system and uh, getting drafted. He got drafted by the LA Galaxy. I think that was... 2021 right yeah. and it was actually a fantastic way i think uh, they got to call your parents in zimbabwe and you, you know you got to say that welcome to morning rush sport and uh, how's it feel to be back home i know you've been here for a while now i know it's um thank you for having me on the show it's an honor just to, to meet you guys and to be here um yeah i've been here for a little bit and um it's been great just being back home and um and seeing family and also just being able to train all right, and obviously LA Galaxy mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, American football, not okay. Should we call it soccer? Because so, yeah, no, no, we were talking football. about the Super Bowl football. earlier, so I'm like, yeah. but um, football. Okay, we're we'll talking about football, yes, football in America. Nah, I yes. think that's the better way to say it. Exactly, football in America. <laughs> you know, they're one of the biggest teams. I think most people will be familiar with the likes of David Beckham, yes. who, who went there. We've seen Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Yes, has been there. So. When you got drafted, what was that like for you, having come through from Michigan State? You know, um, I thank God. It was, a, it was a special moment for me and my family. You know, um, when, when, I, when I saw the name LA Galaxy and they called my name, you, you talked about the way that they announced it. Um, it was a special way. And um, I, I, was, I was honestly shocked because it's a big club in the, sta in the States. And, um, you know, yeah, like you said, with the likes of Beckham. And, and so I was excited, you know, to just to be back, to be in L.A. and to experience that. And, you know, I remember even the first time I got in the locker room, um, I was greeted by most my, people might know his name is Chicharito. Oh, um, yeah, from Manchester United. United yes. So if you're a Man U fan, usually people know him. And so I was, I was kind of like, what? I'm in the same locker room with this guy. But, um, you, know, I'm, you know, I was really humbled and I was honored just to be you know, part of that club and to, to eventually just be part of the team. All right, you came through the college system and maybe some of our viewers might be wondering, all right, mm -hmm. football drafts. Mm, yeah. what's, go what's going on? Let me, <laughs> let me just give us an insight into how the draft system works in terms of how you then ended up uh, from going from Michigan State mm -hmm. to LA Galaxy. Yeah, so in, um, in the States, um, university football is it's huge. Um, they take it very seriously and it's very professional. And so um, the top flight in Major League Soccer, they will recruit the top players um, each year from the universities. And um, they'll, they'll do, a, they call it a draft system similar to the NBA. Um, in, in basketball, which they say each, each club gets an, a pick, um, and all 20, I believe 25 clubs, they pick each player that they want to pick. And so um, I came in, I was the first round, 21st pick uh, by the LA Galaxy, and, um, and they, they had been following me for a while, and so they, they watched my career all through my university days, and, um, and yeah, and they liked what they saw, and I was just grateful to be, to be selected by them. All right, obviously, you're a Zimbabwean. You've probably been following what's happening. I understand you've been here for a while training with Shesham. Andy, we don't know much about no. Shesham. Yeah. They're new boys. you probably tell us yeah. more. Yeah, I don't more know about, much about them. Uh, what's that been like, training with Shesham in Gweru? I know that's your hometown as well. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, Shesham FC Construction Boys. Um, it's a hometown in Gweru. So my family is also in Gweru. And so it's been good just to be able to play for a local team, you know, in my own town. Um, you know, I've been, I was also, you know, and I think... Um, being, being with Shesham has just been great, just being able to kind of learn, you know, Zin football, um, what it's like, and it's been good. I've been able to stay fit and stay sharp. Um, and, you know, they're newly promoted into the, mm. into the Premier Division, mm. and so it's a, it's a young team and they're hungry, and so I'm excited to see how they do this year. I need to ask, what, sorry, I, you're talking about football, like, what position? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got there, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, 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 you play? You're a goalie, you're a striker, it's a catch, right, you're a it's probably time yeah. to approach Oh, yeah, 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 maybe, yeah. that's a good idea, because now you're, are you a free agent? <laughs> <laughs> I know, good question. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a striker and, okay. and also can play um, left wing or right wing. So um, I just like the score goals. And how did you do at Galaxy when you joined them? I mean, obviously now you're in the draft, suddenly yeah. you have to go to Galaxy. What happened? So yeah, when you, when you get drafted, you, you come into preseason with the team. And that's when the coach can really evaluate you as a player because now they've been able to see footage, but then now they can say, okay, let's see how you do. And um, 
I was, you know, fortunate to be able to to score a few few goals even in my first few games. I was able to score my debut, which was a great moment. Oh. Um, and also, um, and, and I thought I was able to, you know, keep consistent. It was tough though. It's a different yeah. level from university to pro. Yeah. Um, but I think um, the coaches helped me to adjust and. I was able to stay confident, which, I, which was good. How long were you there for? Mm. Are you, are you no, still it's, on the books? It's, it's still, still on the mm. books, yeah? Still on the books, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, yeah. brilliant. Mm. So you'll be playing this season? Yes, yes. Oh, so excellent. I'm excited to return back with the, the Galaxy this year. Still the Galaxy, yeah. 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 It's, it's a fantastic name, LA Galaxy. LA Galaxy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's so associated with David Beckham, as yeah. you said. I mean, he mm. really made that team a, a big thing. Mm. How many goals have you scored? I'm, this is really fascinating. Uh, it's it's like, like, no, 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 How many goals have you scored? How are you, what are your stats? And so, yeah, I was able to, came in um, even just the first few games um, I believe I had uh, three goals in, in five games mm. even in just being able to play and so then um, you know and I was able to just keep consistent from there and so um, I'm excited just to keep going you know I, yeah. I'm coming in as a rookie first year and so um, I'm excited to keep continue. Keep going. It's and what, you, what about Zimbabwe national team? Ah, I knew you were yeah. going to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're obviously eligible to play for. Do you have American citizenship? Or no, I, I'm a Zimbabwean. Yeah. You're a Zimbabwe. yeah, exactly. So, Warriors, is, is that in the cards for you? Is that a dream for you to play for Zimbabwe? Yeah, um, you know what? It's it's been a dream for me for a long time um, since I was a, since I was a little kid, and I was I was able to I was called up for the under 23 um, Olympic qualifier team, which is a, which is an honor, and yeah, and I think. Um, that's that's one of my goals to be able to represent the national team and to raise the flag high. All right, and obviously you said you have been training with the construction boys, Shishan. Mm. Uh, you clearly have been with the under 20s. What's your take of Zimbabwe football and maybe how far we are from the Americans? Well, how far we are? <laughs> well, we are. Yeah, exactly. It's more positive. Yeah, how far we are? I like that. You know, and I think we need to be positive. Um, it's you know I've had a lot of discussions and conversations with people. You know, just across the country, coaches, players, and even parents. And um, and I think there's a hunger for football. I think we love we love football in Zim. Mm. And I think it's time for us to ra raise the flag high again. And I think um, for me, um, I think it just starts to do development. Yeah. I was able to be developed by great coaches coming up, and they had a huge impact on my development as a player. And so I think if we start there, um, we'll, we'll see the things that we want to see years from now. And um, and I think it, it's coming. It's time for us to be you know competing with the best in the world. And I think it starts with our youth. All right, obviously yeah. you're playing internationally, mm -hmm. you'll be very aware that uh, Zimbabwe is currently suspended by FIFA. Mm -hmm. As a player who has those ambitions mm -hmm. uh, to play for Zimbabwe, how do you think uh, this kind of sc this scenario that we find ourselves in affects the players primarily? You know, I think players um, want to play <laughs> mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be patient. We know that it, the things are being sorted out right now, um, but I think the best way to develop and the best way to rise as a country is to be back playing again. And I think, you know, if we can do everything that we can to make sure that um, our national team is playing and competing in tournaments again, I think um, that's the best thing. And so I'm excited. I, I, think, I think things are moving, hopefully. And so I think I'm sure when, when, things, um, when we hear things, we'll, we'll also be ready and ready to go and join camp. All right, the year is still starting, 2023. Mm -hmm. You guys are in pre-season. You've been pre-seasoning. Do, yeah. do they know about Shesha? Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like, that, that, that should be quite interesting for your coaches to yeah. find out that you're, you're yeah. training with a local team. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your pre-season plan? When do you go back to the States? And mm -hmm. you know, what can we expect from you in 2023? Yeah, and so yeah, they they're well aware. Um, they they track my progress. They track you know what I'm doing, what I'm eating. And they you know wow. so everything is everything's being tracked. But um, and no, they're happy. They're happy that I'm playing with um, with the team. Um, I'm staying fit and um, able to stay sharp. And so um, yeah, I'm excited for the new year. You know, I think um, I have great goals for this year, and um, I'm excited to achieve uh, to achieve them. Okay. Uh, and what about Zimbabwe? Do you think it's a, going to America is an option for Zimbabwe footballers? I know we normally go to where South Africa, South Africa, maybe UK, Europe, hopefully to the UK because Premier League is the goal. But what about the avenue for footballers to go to America? Is it easy? Is it something that you would encourage? Yeah, um, you know, I think the major league soccer it's it's a it's a big league now, and um, the big players in the in the in the league, and there's definitely an avenue. There's definitely a pathway. Um, whether that's through just you coming in as a, as a young kid, you're playing with um, academies, or also you come into the university system, um, which, which, which is what I did. Um, I, I, I believe that we, we, we have this, so much young talent across the world right now, mm. isn't it? Mm. And, um, mm. and we have some in, and I was also talking to Tini just, just the other day, mm. just checking on him and see how he's doing, but... Oh, he's um, in Houston, right? Yeah, yeah he's yeah, in Houston yeah. Dynamo, exactly. Um, and so it's, it's, it's a good league, and I think if people want to come, they should come. 
Yeah. No, Andy, I was looking at it. Mm. I think I saw a report last week. I don't mm. know if I was aware mm. of it. Uh, LA Galaxy, I think, mm. I can't remember the, the figure, but they made more money than, I think, 14 or 15 of the English Premier League teams. Oh, so yeah. they're now being regarded as one of the big There's boys. Big money. You know, because a lot of people <laughs> okay. look at America and they didn't. So, so we're like, not going to ask him how much he gets paid. I'm not going to ask you. I'm just saying, like, but it's, it's, it's going to be Is good. it on the 50,000 that comes back? It's going to be good. He's going to be good because there's a lot of money. Is that, is that pressure, though? Because I know LA, you know, mm. people think about the Lakers, the people think yeah. about Hollywood. Yeah. People, th There's so many things. And I remember when uh, Zlatan came through yeah. uh, the <laughs> page of the LA Times. Is that, is yeah. that yeah. He came, like, th thank you or something like that. Yeah. But, like, with all the attention that comes towards a team like LA mm. Galaxy, is that any added pressure for you? As in, you know, obviously, you're still a rookie trying to find your way. Is that any added pressure? You know, I um, personally, um, I don't feel too much pressure, but... I think a lot of it, yeah, there's a lot of lights, there's a lot of attention. Anything that LA Galaxy does, it's always going to be news, you know. Um, and I think when I came in, I just followed the guys that have been there, senior guys, how they handle the media, how they handle, um, you know, all the talks and whatever, whatever. And they just let the... They just let their play do the talking. And, and I took kind of that mentality and said, you know what? Um, people will see what they see on the field, and when you deliver, you deliver. All right, just quickly before we wrap up, okay. were you following the Super Bowl this morning? Uh, yes, who yes. Are you back? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to watch it. <laughs> yes, I was. You know, it was it was late for us, but yeah, um, yeah I was following it, and the team that I wanted to win oh, won. Kansas, so, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas uh, exactly. Oh, Patrick right. Mahomes. So uh, well, um, he was doing so well up to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, for right. Thank you yeah. very much. We'll be following your progress mm -hmm. as you go yeah. back to the states and keep flying our flag yeah, high. To you. Hopefully. We will get to see him and yeah. Warriors. I'm not, not going to actually go and have watch some of his stuff now. Yeah, oh, you okay. should. Yeah, 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 he's he's going to try and bring you the caps. Don't okay. worry. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't think I can afford you, though. But keep flying the flag high. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh.